ahead and go on up there. You want to do an acceleration and braking run? This is where the touch is. So you know. I drive a Dodge Ram, so that's one reason why I wanted to test drive. Okay, so straight at your wheels. There you go. Now, see those blue and white cones? Mm -hmm. That's where you slam on the brakes really hard. Stop it. Dead stop. But you can accelerate here and load, just get going quick and then slam on the brakes and come just put this thing on the snow. Okay. Go ahead. Hard, hard. Flip it. Yes. There you go. That's, this has the best brakes in a slap uh, and also the shortest turning radius. So that's two of the things we wanted to show you. Just going to mosey around here, and we're going to go over a couple of uh, frame twister pads over here. And uh, work away. We're going to get out on the road eventually, go about a quarter mile down, and we'll come back. This has the uh, bigger V8, the 5.7 liter V8 with 381 horse. That's pretty tight, Just going to pull up here nice and easy. Just let it roll over. No brake, no gas. Just let it go. This actually uh, will tow 10,000 pounds. Hmm. Does it really well, too. This is the torque. And this is 400 one foot pounds. It really performs. And uh, we used to tow trailers that weighed 10,000 pounds. We had barbell weights on them. Yeah. On the little trailer, was about 6 feet wide, 12 feet long, tandem axle, two 6,000 pound axles. And we towed that back and forth across the United States in 07 and 08. And this thing just really performs. So, right hand turn. And then once you get out there, you got that lane. This is the 430 rear engine, and so with a six speed and six gear at 60 miles an hour, the engine is turning just slightly over 1500 RPM. So if you're out on the highway run along, you got to pay attention because it runs, this thing's ready to go. I mean, you can be running 35 and 80 and it just cruises. Yeah. So you may have to use the boost mode. In fact, we had a guy get a ticket for running about 87 miles an hour in a 65 in the first year of these were out on the freeway. Wow. You just don't realize you're going that fast. You just, you know, you got to pay attention because it's quiet, it runs smooth, and it's got so much torque and power that it, it really just, it yeah, it just feathers the gas pedal. Yes. So up here at the stop sign, don't pre-turn, just, just go, just stop and then go just about six or seven feet out. Just right, right about one back here. Lock it left. All the way. I come right around here. Not bad, though. Is it fun to drive uh, back in your trailer because of that turning radius? It's noticeably easier. Easier. This is a double cab. It's a loaded up double cab. Crew max would be like if you take this truck, kind of put it in the bed, put it in the back seat, but it's huge in the back seat. So you have a five and a half foot bed in the crew max, so this is six and a half. You can get this in an eight foot bed, and also a single cab in an eight foot bed, but the crew max only really comes with a five and a half configuration. It's a nice truck, so they, you're carrying people with you quite a bit. Have to have if you don't need that extra foot of room. Turn in here. Split the orange columns and right in. Right in there with just the other side, the other side. Over here. Go ahead. Oh, I was going to say, right over here. Right in here. Perfect. There you go. Right on up. And then the horses are trying to ride it. Right in there. Stays in just nice and easy in there. People getting in that and whatnot. So let's go up on the left lane.